How to treat teen acne and scars fast. Acne affects 95% of teens. It's incredibly common and you're not alone. Once you understand what's happening to your skin, the six key ingredients, then your AM and PM routine, your skin will start to improve. I really want to gift three of you the full routine we talk about in this video. All you've got to do is head over to my Instagram and write which country you're from under the post of this thumbnail. How does acne and scars form and what do you do about it? Quickest way to think about it is think of the skin a little bit like an orange peel. You know all the little holes at the top? Those are called your pores. Under the pores, however, we have mini volcanoes. And so what happens is during your teen years, the lava starts to bubble and come to the top. That's your sebum. As it gets to the top, there's usually a thin layer of skin cells at the top. And so you have bulging forming. That is your white head. So what do we do about it? Number one, we want to calm down the lava. And the way we do that is by using niacinamide. We want to prevent the sticky skin cells at the top of the volcano. And so we use vitamin A. We want to unclog that volcano. And so we use salicylic acid. And as you start to get more severe acne, you tend to have more bacteria. So P acne is bacteria. So what do you want to use? You want to use benzoyl peroxide. It will kill the P acne is bacteria and that will help with your acne. Now, later on, you may start to get pigmentation after every mark. And so when you get hyperpigmentation, you want to use tyrosinase inhibitors to calm them down, help to bring back the cells and reduce the hyperpigmentation. The other thing that can happen with acne, unfortunately, is pain. Because with that swelling and that bulging happening under the skin, that can lead to a little bit of irritation. And so anti-inflammatories are also fantastic to put into your acne routine. Let's do your AM PM demo. Starting off with the Inky Vest Squalane Cleanser. It does have a bit of a funny smell. It's quite strong, but it's salicylic acid and it's fragrance free, so it's not gonna irritate the skin. Okay, so this isn't gonna foam because of the salicylic acid actually. So you don't get that kind of lathery feel that you're gonna find for your normal, moist, your normal cleansers, but it gets into the pore and it unclogs the pore. So it's worth using. Second part of your AM routine is your acne side gel. This is your benzoyl peroxide. This is what's gonna kill the P acne's bacteria. I love this. Anytime I have a zit, I actually pop this on right before I go to bed. And then sometimes I pop on a pimple patch on top. Non-irritating, I love it. And actually, it's a good thing to wear. Say, for example, the week before you're about your due, your period, and you know you're prone to getting breakouts in certain areas, often it's along the jawline. I would put this on preventatively the week before your period. So just mark it in your diary when you have your period, what, when you're likely to get it again, and then mark in actually when to start using burns of peroxide and your salicylic acid spray. Very easy. Penetrates quickly, no issues, no pilling. And you move on to the next layer. Next, we move on to your moisturizers. Moisturizers for acne prone skin are often a headache. I've got two sets of moisturizers for you. One if you have oily acne prone skin and one if you have dry acne prone skin and they are all affordable. So starting off with the oily acne prone skin. Super gel from Face Theory or the Ordinary Natural Moisturizing Factor plus Beta Glucan. I'm going to show you one on one half the side and this on the other half. So you can see it comes out very gel-like. And this works really well if you have oily acne prone skin. Rubs it really nicely, very easily. And I will compare it with the Ordinary. Again, another gel-like finish. So the smell is a little bit stronger actually with the, with the Ordinary, but they don't use fragrance. So it's more of a chemical type smell. I'd say both sides are equally light. I'd maybe even say the ordinary side is a little bit more hydrating than the face theory side, but very light. I love them both for oily acne prone skin. Moving on to the options, if you have drier acne prone skin. Now, don't forget, one of the reasons why you get dry acne prone skin is because you probably have overdone it on the salicylic acid, the leave-on exfoliant. And so that is very drying to the skin. And so you might decide actually you might need to upgrade from the gel moisturizer to a fatty moisturizer. So let me show you, this is the Omega Water from the Inky List. So you can see there are more fats in this product. I'm going to do again half the face. It really does turn to water. It's a really good title. Very light on the skin. You can pop your sunscreen on top and it's not going to feel heavy at all. I do like this product. It does feel quite cooling to the skin. It might not be hydrating enough, if I'm honest, um, if you are finding your skin getting a bit drier. Let's compare it to the Ordinary. This is the NMF Plus Phytoceramides. There's a little trick that you do. 
If you can turn your head upside down and the cream doesn't fall off, it tends to have a higher fat content. Again, it melts very easily into the skin. So you're getting equal hydration, to be honest. You're not actually getting much more, maybe this, maybe 10% more hydration on the inside. I think if you go for either, you're going to be happy. I would say this side is actually maybe feeling a little bit greasier and this side is feeling a little bit tighter. I think listen to your skin. If it was me with dry skin, I'd probably opt for this side more. So out of the two, I'd probably go for the ordinary. Right, moving on to the most important part of your acne routine and really any routine, and is your SPF 50. I always opt for mineral over chemical. The reason is that mineral is often the zinc oxide and that's anti-inflammatory. Don't forget when you have acne prone skin, that's an inflammatory process taking place. And so whatever you can do to put zinc onto the skin, consume zinc as one of your supplements, it's only going to help you. Um, so there are very few mineral SPF 50s for skin of color that don't lead to a white cast. And so actually I made one for you. This one actually has anti hyperpigmentation ingredients in it. So this is inzincable. So usually use about a quarter of a teaspoon um, to half a teaspoon on the face. It's got tyrosinase inhibitors in it to help with any hyperpigmentation. Plus it's got blue shield protection, which helps you with any light from your devices. So that's what it looks like after you've put on Inzincable. And often I'll use my SPF 50 powder to, to pat down my T-zone. So if you have very oily skin, that's what I recommend you do. Right, moving on to your PM routine. First of all, I start off with your cleanser as normal. So as you, when you come back from your day at work or school, uh, wash your face with your salicylic acid cleansers. And then you want to go in with your blemish clearing moisturizer. This is 0.2% retinol, so that's your vitamin A, um, plus sulfur, plus vitamin C. So you're actually getting quite a lot in this moisturizer. But because it's retinol, you want to wear this at nighttime. This is not going to be your daytime moisturizer. What it does help is to reduce those sticky skin cells, lead to clogging of pores, and lead to the spot in the first place. That's okay. We could deal with that. Do you find that your eyebrows are just constantly falling down as well? It's the first time I'm doing cre um, YouTube videos without any makeup on and showing you actual demos and it feels very different. I think it's I, I think it's actually penetrated quite nicely. What do you think? I'm happy with it. There's no irritation. Do this two hours before you go to bed. So that's a big mistake people make is that they don't apply their serums and creams two hours before bed. They do it just before bed. It comes off of their pillow and they wonder why it's not working. So far, I've given you your starter routine. Do this for three to six months. If you're still not seeing any improvement, these are the tweaks that you're going to make to upgrade your routine. The routine I've given you today contains benzoyl peroxide, vitamin A, vitamin C, niacinamide, and salicylic acid. Wash off. But to upgrade, you want to use your salicylic acid leave on exfoliant. So we will do this after your cleanse, either in the morning or the evening or both. If you have dry acne prone skin, don't do it uh, everywhere. Just pop it on the actual spot itself. Use your hands to do this and then press it onto the skin. Please don't use any cotton pads. Number one, it's not good for the environment. But number two, actually, those fibers uh, stick to the skin and you really don't want anything clogging your pores or sticking to the skin other than the actives itself. So just gently pat it into the skin. And if you have dry skin, just pop it onto the areas with the actual spots. Now, if you have skin of color, you're likely to get hyperpigmentation after your acne. The reason is that our melanocytes are larger, they are easier to trigger. I always say one scratch, one bite or one burn and we hyperpigment. This means that we really have to treat our acne early. And once we start getting pigmentation, we need to treat that early too. The way you do that is using these sets of tyrosinase inhibitors. Go for alpha arbutin, green tea extract, vitamin C, ferulic acid, and retinaldehyde. I would want these all in a gel form. This product didn't exist, and so I made it for you. Here's a PM gel I made for you if you have oily acne prone skin plus hyperpigmentation. This is what it looks like. So it comes out yellow because of the vitamin A in it. Pop it to the skin, and it should just blend very easily into the skin. I would focus this mainly on the pigmentation areas, but you can put it on the whole uh, face, plus it's anti-aging as well, because of vitamin A, it's got retinol and retinaldehyde in it. And that's it. One thing I'd say with this is it's expensive. It's 38 pounds for 50 mils. So I always say start cheap. Start with alpha arbutin from the ordinary, 
If that doesn't work and you want to upgrade, you have an option. I'm in the comment section for one hour at the launch of every video. So come and subscribe, hit that notification bell so you can come and ask me your questions. I'll see you on Instagram for the giveaway.